While mental health means something different to everyone, we want to dive a little deeper and hear from someone who works with it on a daily basis. Joining us now from Neurosciences Group is Dr. Khalid Sethi. Dr. Sethi, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Oh, thank you so much for having us. Now, in your personal and professional opinion, what is mental health? So we can think of mental health as a disease, not something that is how you are, but a disease that impacts you, the individual, on how you process information or stimuli around you. In my mind, is a very structural, basic processing issue that forces people to feel differently to the same stimuli that other people might feel. Now, you work with people every day, people who are battling some form of mental illness. For many people, the hardest part is simply recognizing when it's time to seek professional help. How can someone determine when it's just an off day and when it's time to actually talk to someone? So I think if you find that you are not enjoying life on how you are living it, you're finding altered sleep patterns, you're finding altered appetite patterns, you're not able to you are not interested in food or you're overeating or undereating. Uh, you wake up feeling kind of down or depressed. You are no longer enjoying activities that you used to enjoy. Uh, you feel out of sync with your environment where you feel you're more jittery or more nervous than other people around you. You're more uncomfortable. You're more out of your zone. You're not in the element that you used to be in. I think those are all signs and symptoms and it's not just a one day thing. It's something that is impacting you and it's impacting the quality of life. It's impacting who you want to be. And there's a disconnect on how you're living your life and how you would want to be living your life. I'm sure you can attest to this mental illness. It affects everyone and even the strongest of people fight invisible battles. What do you think still needs to happen when it comes to ending the stigma surrounding mental health? So I think what happens is people need to recognize what we term a disease. So a disease is defined as an affliction that comes on to you for nothing that you have done. So if you're diabetic, everybody recognizes I'm a diabetic, my pancreas isn't working as well, I need medications, I need injections, I need enzymes. I have back pain, nothing that I did, but I seem to have a lot of back pain, pain down your leg. I've got heart disease, I've got to take care of myself. There are behavioral modifications that you can do, but everybody accepts that as a disease. Depression needs to be recognized as a disease. It's a true disease that's not somebody's making it up, that doesn't make you any less of an individual or less of a human than anybody else. It is a disease that you have to battle with and struggle with, but you should not have to battle and struggle with it on your own. There's a lot of help, but it doesn't start until you come see your physician. All right, Dr. Sethi, thank you so much for sharing your insight tonight and really just talking about this incredibly important topic. Thank you so much for having us. You know, these are trying times, and, and I think it's very important for people to know that they're not alone, that there's a lot of help out there, and we're here to help them get their lives back.